Next, let's clear up health. New drug, lenacaprevir, shows 100% efficacy in phase three HIV trial. The, in HIV news, Gilead Sciences has unveiled impressive results from its phase three purpose one trial, highlighting lenacaprevir's potential as a breakthrough in HIV prevention. The data presented at the 25th and International AIDS Conference in Munich and published in the New England Journal of Medicine demonstrated that the twice yearly injectable HIV capsid inhibitor achieved zero infections among participants, marketing 100% efficacy. Linacaprevir outperformed the once daily oral prep Truvada, showing superior prevention capabilities. The trial also under, uh, underscored high adherence rates to lenacaprevir, contrasting with lower adherence to daily oral prep. Linda Gale Becker, director of the Desmond Tutu HIV Center, praised the results, noting that lenacaprevir could significantly enhance prep uptake and, pers and persistence, potentially reducing HIV rates in response. Gilead is focusing on rapid regulatory approval and access to strategies to address HIV in high incidence, resource limited regions. The Independent Data Monitoring Committee has recommending ending the blind phase, allowing over 840 of the participants to switch to lenacaprevir. For the LGBTQ plus community, this represents a groundbreaking achievement in HIV prevention, offering a highly effective and discreet option. This news will have dramatic effects on HIV prevention in the LGBTQ plus community. So this is really exciting news for me, the fight to end HIV epidemic. The study has shown remarkable progress, particularly among cisgender women, because all trials with um, before that were conducted were not for cisgender women. And therefore, for a long time, they were not able to get prep. Mm -hmm. And so um, th this was in cisgender women, adolescents aged 16 to 25. The study involved 5,300 participants across 25 sites in South Africa and three sites in Uganda. In the groundbreaking result, there were zero incident cases of HIV infection, infection among the 2,134 women in lenacaprevir group. The Truvada group saw 16 incident cases among 1,068 women, while the Discovery group had 39 incident cases among 2,136 women. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of this study is the potential for an injection every six months, which could significantly improve adherence and help individuals stay protected from acquiring HIV. This long acting injectable form, lenacaprevir is promising solution to those who struggle with daily medication regimens. Looking ahead, Gilead is anticipating results from another pivotal trial, Purpose 2, expected in late 2024, for early 2025, the trial is assessing the effectiveness of twice yearly lenacaprevir for PrEP among cisgender men who have sex with men, transgender men, transgender women, and gender non-binary individuals who have sex with partners assigned male at birth. Mm -hmm. The study spans multiple countries, including Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, Peru, South Africa, Thailand, and the United States. Stay tuned for more updates for this promising development in HIV prevention. Oh, that's exciting it's stuff. Amazing. And yeah. What I was thinking was that you answered my question was okay. So now this has been studied when with women, but would it be used for men? Right. You know, right. um, I have someone very close to me who is a you know a psych uh, psych certified nurse, and she finds that in our community it's very hard to get people to come in and get the meds that they need. You know, like, I mean, you know, right. you need a med to take right. it every day and it's hard for us to do that. Right. So to have this option, you know, um, um, LGBTQ plus people are living and thriving yes. with AIDS and HIV, you know, but to be able to just get two shots a year like that would be mm -hmm. wow, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. right. I'm hoping and of course, looking forward to hopefully that's what's going to happen with our HIV treatments. Eventually that will become long acting as well to where just imagine if we could end the HIV epidemic so in our lifetime. E exactly, yeah. it's so, exactly. It's so wonderful to hear that. You know, right. I just think about you know all the times and, and the people that I knew um, that have passed from HIV and AIDS, and and you know it, it, it it's so wonderful that it's in my lifetime that I'm seeing such amazing progress. With, I think within the last decade or right. so, like there's just been so much advancement and and you know support for this. So uh, I, I I'm I'm really really very happy and, and blessed to see this all. It, it, mm -hmm. It does sound very good, but unfortunately, whenever we talk about Gilead, there's always additional questions about their company's actions. Gilead, you know, got under a lot of controversy a few years ago for did they slow ball the the, um, the drug after Truvada because they were waiting for the patent on that mm. to end or not? That was the controversy. 
the advocate did. So, of course, I'm glad to see that they wanted to move very quickly on this. How long have they been working on this drug? Did they know about this prior and decide to slow about it? What are they going to charge people? We'll talk about compliance. Like, I, I get taking a pill every day is very hard to comply. Mm -hmm. they d and this is a really positive, smart move. Yeah. But are they going to be trying to price it at a certain level that's unfair? And, like, did the U.S. government help pay for the research that the U.S. government tends to do? Like, what, how is Gilead going to actually act uh, both within the United States and globally? Because they do have a responsibility to really start eliminating this virus in a way that this drug could truly do, it yeah. sounds like. It's amazing. Yeah. It could give people their life back. Right.